Welcome to another Fantasy Goodfellows video where we talk about the top wide receiver waiver wire pickups for week three. You ready? The Fantasy Goodfellows. Boom, boom, boom. Rolling on the field. Alright, before we get started, let me just tell you what's going to happen in this video. We are going to talk about the top wide receiver waiver wire pickups for week three because you all need to find those hidden gems already, right? Let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is point out the Quinton Johnston from the Los Angeles Chargers. He is only 6.2% rostered. And as you can see here, he did 51 receiving yards, two receiving touchdowns. That was good for eighth. And he might not be on anybody's team so far. All right. The next one we want to point out is Rashid Shahid from the New Orleans Saints. Now, he's 54% rostered, but he did 96 receiving yards, one receiving touchdown in week one. He did 73 yard receiving yards, one receiving touchdown. So he'll probably be picked up because he's 54% rostered, but you might have a chance. The next one we want to point out is Darnell Mooney from the Atlanta Falcons. He came from the Chicago Bears last season, but he did 88 receiving yards, one receiving touchdown. He, he was 39.7% rostered this week. The next one we want to do is Andre Isovas and, uh, from the Cincinnati Bengals. He did two receiving touchdowns on only two receiving yards. That's incredible. If you look at that team right there, the Joe Burrow's two TDs went to him, so that was uh, pretty good. All right, the next one we want to go to is we want to point out Alec Pierce. I said this in another video that Alec Pierce is definitely should be on everybody's radar. He did one receiving touchdown for 56 yards. He's destroying Michael Pittman. So he might be a nice pickup that you could stick him on the bench, but he might be a starter depending on the week. The next one we're going to point out is Jalen uh, Naylor. And Jalen Naylor did 54 receiving yards, one receiving touchdown in week two. That was good for the 21st best receiver in week one. He got into the end zone as well, 21 receiving yards. And Sam Darnold seems to be uh, holding his own now let's go to the next one is Josh Reynolds and Josh Reynolds came from Detroit Lions. He did 93 receiving yards. That was good for the 25th best receiver. So he might be picking up some steam over there in, in Denver. The next one we're going to point out is Dontavian Wicks and from the Green Bay Packers. He is 17% rostered. And he did 26 receiving yards and one receiving touchdown. And let's see what he did in week one. He did nothing. So he might be somebody that you might want to pick up now. And next one, we're going to do Jalen Tolbert. Jalen Tolbert did 82 receiving yards in week two. In week one, he did 12 receiving yards. And he is only 4% rostered. So if he gets the nine targets, he might be somebody you want to pick up. Number 29 here is Wondell Robinson from the New York Giants. What did he do? Well, he did 18 receiving yards, one receiving touchdown. That was good for 29th in week one. He did 44 receiving yards, 14 rushing yards. That's not bad. And he might be somebody you might want to target. And the last one is Jerry Judy. Now, there's no surprise that Jerry Judy is uh, could be dominant at times, but in week two, he was 73%, uh, 73 receiving yards. In week one, he got into the end zone, but he's only 56% rostered, and uh, that might be somebody that you want to pick up as well. All right, that's going to do it for this week's waiver wire. Uh, for wide receivers for week three. You might want to pick them up. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, good luck, and I'll see you again next week.